Hey guys, it's Dana, and today I've got a really great Halloween recipe for you that includes an edible spider. That's right, a spider that you can eat, and it really isn't a spider. Don't worry, it's just a little bit spooky. Okay, so you can make my buffalo ranch chicken dip or you can make yours. I will put my ingredients on the bottom and I'm quickly showing you what I did to prepare that. So once I got the dip ready, what I did is smooth it over and place it in a one quart baking dish. And when I did that, you will see that it is having a lot of red color on top and that is more red hot sauce because you really want to make that pop when you add the string cheese to it. So now what you're going to do is to open the string cheese and divide it into pieces and you're going to want to work with the spider web upside down so away from you. You'll place some of the string cheese pieces in a vertical and you'll then put others in a horizontal to make a web. Again, working against it works much better. As you can see, that's what I was doing. So I went ahead and put the line across after I made the lines straight. You get what I'm saying. And then I started to work on the spider. That was easy. What you wanna do is try working with the spider using the black olives on a counter space. I used a little skewer stick just to divide it and see how it was going to work. Now those are very chopped black olives. It works quite well and they fluff up and don't really add a flavor to the dip, but they just add a little bit of that Halloween fun to it. There's my spider and I was working with it just to see if this whole concept was going to work and it really did. And it was fa um, fast and easy to do. So there it was a little bit slower. Once I got it to the top of the web on the dip, I went ahead and started with a nice chunk of a, on a spoon of the black olives. And then I started fanning out, working on the legs as you can see me doing here. And I actually think it didn't turn out too bad. So make sure that you leave enough space in there and make that a nice big lump so it looks like a puffy tarantula. That's what was more important to me, that it kind of looked hairy. And this definitely gives that feeling of a hairy tarantula, which is kind of gross. And get those legs over there and don't be afraid to sprawl them over top of that web. Then you're going to go ahead and bake this at about 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. You'll see that it'll come out a little bit darker and the sides will be well baked. That's what it looked like before it went in. So that's what my webbing looked like. You can adjust your cheese and the arches and the web as much as you like. That's what I thought looked good. That's what I went with. Now here it is baked. When it's baked, it looks a little bit different and now you see why I use the extra red hot. At the end, I decided this thing needed a little bit of eyeballs stuck on it. So I took two little pieces of green pepper and stuck them atop that black hairy tarantula. And I actually think that was a difference maker. As little detail as it is, it really looked cute and much better in my opinion when I added that. But you can feel free not to add it at all as well. So it's time to go ahead and eat. Happy Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I guys, I'll see you later with more great recipes.